Okay, today we're going to be working on this Jacob's Ladder E. All right, so make sure that the paper you have in front of you is the Jacob's Ladder E. And it says, please answer the following questions in complete sentences. Make sure to watch the video that goes with this assignment. And you are obviously doing that right now, if you can hear me. So first off, when we're doing Jacob's Ladder, we always start at the bottom and we work our way up. So down here for number one, it says, what feelings do you have about Sylvester? So we have, that's one question. And it says, how do they change as the story evolves and evolves just means as the story goes on or the story develops okay so as how do they change throughout the story and then the last question says how would you describe Sylvester's parents feelings so we have three different questions that we're going to answer there. And I'm going to help you write sentence starters for these questions. So it says, what feelings do you have about Sylvester? You'd say, I feel, whoops, my lead broke. Let's see. I feel that Sylvester is, okay, and you can fill that in. How do you feel about Sylvester? And if you need a reminder, um, you can look, listen to the story again, or look back in the story. But if we remember here, um, Sylvester, Duncan, his last name is Duncan, he really liked to collect pebbles that were unusual shapes and colors. So if that's something you like to do, then maybe you and Sylvester could be good friends. Okay. And he's out pebble collecting and he's really excited about this new pebble because he discovers that it is magic. His wishes come true when he's holding it. And then when, as we move throughout the story, okay, suddenly there's a lion that's scaring him. And he kind of makes a mistake. He panics, he gets scared, and he accidentally turns himself into a rock. Okay, I think that's just the first thing that popped in his head. So if you've ever made a decision that wasn't the best, kind of like Sylvester, that's something you could add. You could say, I feel like I connect with Sylvester because sometimes I make quick decisions that aren't always the best. So just go through the story and Think about how you feel about Sylvester. Okay, so I feel that Sylvester is. So that's kind of your first sentence starter. And if you have a different sentence starter you want to use, that's okay. Just make sure that you've got a capital letter and a period to answer this first question. Then it says, how do they change so how do your feelings change as the story evolves, okay? So we need to answer that in a complete sentence. Okay. So my feelings changed when, and you could 
say my feelings changed when Sylvester turned into a rock. I felt really bad for him. Um, he must have felt really hopeless because he felt like he would never be able to change from being a rock. So you're going to answer that question. And you might also think that maybe Sylvester felt a little bit selfish. Okay, so think about in the story when he finds the magic pebble and he realizes that it is magic and his wishes come true. And he starts thinking, God, I can have everything I want. My parents can have everything I want. So that might be something that you would want to write down. Okay, my feelings changed when Sylvester found the magic rock and then he wanted all of his wishes to come true. So I think Sylvester probably learned that it's really not the best to always have our wishes come true. And then our last sentence is, how would you describe Sylvester's parents' feeling? Okay. And then we can start that sentence with Sylvester's parents feel. Now, how do they feel when, when they're lost? Look at that picture. How do they feel? Okay. So... If we look at the words, it says, meanwhile, back at home, Mr. and Mrs. Duncan paced the floor. So they were pacing back and forth, frantic with worry. Sylvester had never come home later than dinner time. Where could he be? They stayed up all night wondering what had happened expecting that Sylvester would surely turn up by morning, but he didn't. Of course, Mrs. Duncan cried a lot, and Mr. Duncan did his best to soothe her. Both longed to have their dear son with them. I will never scold Sylvester again as long as I live, said Mrs. Duncan, no matter what he does. So they are up all night. They don't get any sleep. They stay up all night worrying. Have you ever had a hard time falling asleep because you're worried about something? I know I have, but they are so worried that they stay up all night long. So I'm sure they're very tired. And then she says that she'll never get mad at Sylvester ever again. So we can see that they're, they're crying and they're very sad. They are losing their, they can't find their son. And then they go asking people and asking people and they talk to the police. So reading that, Sylvester's parents feel, what? They feel very sad, okay? Or you could even use frantic like they did in the story. Okay. Um, when they can't find him, okay? But also, Sylvester's parents' feelings change. And they change near the end of the story. And you can see that even here, when they're going to the picnic, they're still, you know, they're still feeling kind of sad. And it's been almost a year. And then here, all of a sudden, Okay. They are happy. The embraces, which are hugs, it says, that scene that followed, the embraces, the kisses, the questions, the answers, the loving looks, and the fond exclamations. So I think their feelings changed a lot. Okay. So you're going to feel, finish these sentences and end them with a period. So take a second, get those sentence starters copied down, and finish your sentences.
and we'll move on in just a minute. Hit pause if you need to. Okay, so we are moving up the ladder. We're moving up to question two. And there's kind of a lot here in question two. So we're just going to look at it piece by piece. It says, think of a time when you were lost and then found your way. Okay, so first off, think of a time when you were lost and then you found where you were going or you found what you were looking for. Maybe it happened in the grocery store. Or maybe it happened at a park. Um, it could be anything, just a time when you were lost. You might have to sit back and think about it for a second until you remember a time. Then it says, what were your emotions? Okay. How did you feel? under the circumstance so um what were your emotions that's basically how how were you feeling and how did you feel under the circumstance that means how did you feel while you were lost so those things are are kind of the same and then it says how is that story similar to and different from the story of sylvester complete a table to show your comparisons. So there's a lot there we have to dig through. So before we start that, I'm going to look, I'm going to turn the paper over for a second, and you're going to turn your paper over. I want to take a look here at page 10. This is, you know, right after Sylvester's turned into a rock, and it's the, the day is turned into night. And let's Let's look at the emotions that Sylvester is feeling, and we're going to write those down on the back of our paper. Okay, so let's look at Sylvester's emotions. Okay, so, and there was Sylvester, a rock on Strawberry Hill, with the magic pebble lying right beside him on the ground and he was unable to pick it up. Oh, how I wish I were myself again, he thought. But nothing happened. He had to be touching the pebble to make the magic work, but there was nothing he could do about it. His thoughts began to race like mad. Okay, so he has all these thoughts racing through his mind. Now here we're coming into some emotions. He was scared and worried. Oh my goodness, yeah, let's write those down. He was scared. He was worried. He was helpless. That means he couldn't, he couldn't do anything. All right, he couldn't do anything to help himself. He was just frozen. And because he was helpless, he felt hopeless. Like there was just no hope. So we're going to write hopeless. Those are some really good emotions that he's feeling that William Stike has there. Okay. All the possibilities. So he imagined all the possibilities and eventually he realized that his only chance of becoming himself again was for someone to find the red pebble and to wish that the rock next to it would be a donkey. Someone would surely find the red pebble. It was so bright and shiny, but what on earth would make them wish that a rock were a donkey? The chance was one in a billion at best. Sylvester fell asleep, fell asleep. What else could he do? Night came with many stars. Okay, so he's, he's feeling really helpless and hopeless, and he feels like there's only a chance in a million. Move on to part two. 